The following movie is rated I. What's up, mini truck? Nice day it's going to be today. Let's take a ride to Jeffro's and maybe do a little metal detecting before all the weeds grow. Boy, these geese are going wild the last few days. Wake me up in the morning. Man, I should have done that so long ago with that primer button. Probably took 100,000 miles off that starter trying to get it going. Now we're going to need some gas. Oh, look. That was our camping trip. wonder what Joe's up to. Let's go, mini truck! I didn't do any supercharger video action because it looks like my wire connection that turns them lights on must be disconnected. Turn the compressor off. Just in case, need to give it a little toot with some idiot driver. Big truck. It's a big one. Maybe you'll pull over. What the heck is going on? I don't know what happened. Just started acting up and... Yeah, my kid has one. Oh, does he? Yeah. I'd like yours though, right? Just it with the saw and... Oh, yeah. Well, I was like the first one to do it on YouTube. Oh, no shit. Yeah. I'm sure he's seen it. I got the, um, uh, van. Oh, I just sold my van. Yeah. I don't know if it's low on gas or what. I mean, I, it still shows that I got like an eighth of a tank, but so, if you have any couple gallons of gas, I could pay you for now. I'll call my buddy Jeff, I guess. Thanks. Yeah, good luck. What is it, Minnie? Did something come off? Weird.
I smell it. I don't, I don't see anything wrong here. Hey, I, I'm, I guess, almost halfway to your house, and I don't know what happened. It just, I don't know if I'm out of gas, but it says I have like a eighth of a tank, almost. Yeah, I got, you know, I took the mini truck. And it was running good, and then it acted like it was running out of gas. Now, I can't remember whether the gauge is that far off or not, but I was trying to make it to the gas station on 202. We went camping on that real sharp corner. It's the stop right after that going toward my house. Take a left. Yeah, if you could. It has to be gas because it was running perfect. And it smells like it's out of gas. You know, like I'm, I don't smell flooding. It's got that almost heated smell. All right, thanks. Jeff Rowe to the rescue. Thanks, I don't need any help. It's funny how many people don't even ask if you need help. Not that I do, but I always, always ask if someone's broke down on the side of the road, especially on a back road. Oh well, people are different. Jeff Rowe's here. Hey. Oh my god. What's wrong with people today? Oh yeah. It's state sucks. You take your video they're over medicated. They're at, or yeah, or they're self medicated. I'll know when I turn the fuel pump on, you know when it fills up and you hear it. The fuel trucks are so cute. <laughs> Thanks. I have no need for one, but I want one. Oh they're great for yard work. They're so cute. You can find a use. <laughs> It acted just like it was running out of gas, lean, and then yeah. I was trying to wiggle back and forth. I'm like, man, I, I'm never going to make it to the gas station. Like, maybe my gauge is going off a little. Yeah, let's see. No. Still acting the same. I could try to start it. Try uh, hitting your, your primer jet there. Yeah, why would it do that? You hear it though, like popping? Yeah. What's my gas gauge up to now? Oh yeah, it's a quarter tank now. It's definitely getting fuel. I can see it puffing. Huh. You want to try out uh, push start? You want to pull it? No, I don't think that'll do it either because it was just went. running. You think the timing bell went? Well, it's popping like that. Well, it was running good. Yeah. And then it just like acted like it was. And it then it kicks back. But you see the smoke coming out of it? And it smells. Like it smells funny. Hmm. What the heck could that be? Something with the distributor? I don't know, man. I just put that stupid thing on there. That's on good. I pull back and you can, we can roll her back in that driveway and tow you home. Yeah. Might end up having to do that. I mean, the only other thing I could think of is taking the distributor off, looking inside, and seeing if there's anything in there, and then if that don't do it. Because why would it pop? I did the same thing when my fuel pump was working. I popped and kept, didn't want to start, but couldn't start. Can you pull your line off to see if it's popping fuel? Yeah. And he's got too much junk in the trunk. It might like be it's still going. Like to water in there. Or it could be that too, huh? Yeah. Get, you know, got some water. Bad batch of fuel. Oh yeah, it's plenty. Yeah, it's plenty of fuel. You'd think if I pushed a primer, it would give it fuel. Yeah. Maybe I should drain the bowl out anyway. 
Yeah, if you drain the bowl, if it's water, it's right. Why it's popping now? It's starting to get gas. Maybe I don't, it's weird why it's doing that weird smoke too. Like it's getting fuel. Oh yeah, that that look, look, look like water. That was water. Hmm. I think that's what it was. Oh wow! The way that pour out, then pour out like gas. Pour out. Huh. Well, I guess we'll see. Yeah. You're gonna get a few more spit buttons because it's got water on the jugs now. Let's listen to that pump. See the way it's smoking now? Yeah. I don't think so. No. It's like it's something with the spark though. It's not firing right. It looks like that to me anyway. Mm, let me funny. let me just look at the distributor I guess and if not we'll just pull it home. Jeez, a brand new distributor cap too. Or it jumped time, like you said. But it didn't act like that when it first started. It was driving along, then it went mm, like shut off, and then it came back on, and I'm like, oh shit, I'm running out of gas. So I gave it a little gas, and I was like, and it kept going. Then it went, mm. I think mine's got clutch. <laughs> yeah, I think it's definitely something with spark. Maybe your coil's going bad. That's Maybe a possibility. You're... Or, or your ignition. Yeah. Man. Oh, look at that. Yeah. <laughs> well, that would do it, wouldn't it? Yeah. What the hell? Broke. Yeah. Let me get that piece. I'll tape that bitch on. It'll get me home or whatever. Even that got bent. I can't believe it ran the way it did. It must have been hanging up on there. Do we have any crazy glue to glue it right? No, I got some tape though. I better. All right, this. I'm getting rid of some of this shit out of that glove compartment. That's ridiculous. Mini. Why you do this to me, Mini? <laughs> what the heck would cause that? I've never had this happen to me. You? No, never had a break of No. Did she think she's gonna hook again there? That petrol? Oh, I'm gonna bend that street. Jeez, I don't even know if I kept the old one. <coughs> and I think I threw everything away. I may have. Because you know this isn't a part that I can go get at AutoZone. Or maybe, I don't know. hell would have caught though unless it worked itself out yeah. like maybe it got a crack and it was working itself out and that's why it was backfiring yeah. it doesn't make any sense that electro was that spring loaded on the top yeah no that's, that's what holds it in place i thought no mm -hmm. but it should Son of a biscuit, huh? That's weird. That is the weirdest thing I've ever seen. Well, we went over not out of gas, not out of, not got water in it, but it looked like it had water in the bottom of it. It did look like there was something in there. It's probably loaded right up with gas now. That's what I get for buying an eBay distributor, huh? I got most of my stuff from that app right there in Kent. They had it? They had a lot of the stuff like hmm. that. We're gonna have to find out then. If not, they can order it. Well, I can order it. They'll charge, charge you double. I was gonna see if you wanted a metal detect today too. I even took the metal detector just in case you felt like it, you know. Yeah. If you saw it back there. Come on, Minnie. Damn. You want to repeat 
follow you into your house? Or should I just keep going? <laughs> Probably should bring it home. Yeah. Thanks for gas. Brought my metal detector and everything. Yeah. I don't know. Do you want to follow me? Yeah, I'll follow you to your house. All right. Well, what the hell, huh? That's a first for me. You guys ever have that happen? That thing must have been coming apart. Well, we'll bring you home, Minnie. Order some parts. Well, I hope I saved that rotor. Actually, I don't know if it came with a rotor. And Jeff's right, that middle should have a spring on a distributor cap, or it should have like a little tab on the top of the rotor. One or the other. Typically, I don't know, I could be wrong. Running good. <laughs> That's funny, Jeff Rowe got behind one of those medicated people. It's gotta be medication, prescription, or self-medication. Because the people around here, they're doing half or less the speed limit, and we have a 30 or 40 mile an hour speed limit, which is slow to begin with. And the biggest population of old people is Florida, and they drive way better. I mean, I'm in no rush. I just want to do the darn speed limit, that's all. Just do the speed limit. Do it for YouTube. It's a right along. The supercharger's working good in that. Yeah. You want to stop the Galen Bill dinner? Yeah, let's do that. We'll get food there. Yeah. All right. Sorry, Minnie. Can't go. Hey, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'd love to hear what you have to say. Hit that bell if you want new notifications on new videos. Links for products used are in the description and on MotoShees.com. Thanks for watching.